All right, hello everybody. And for today's video, we are going to be stepping outside of the fish room. Right now, we are at Lake Pipestone in Southwest Michigan. We're somewhere near Eau Claire, Benton Harbor area. The plan is to do some fungilid collecting because there's quite a lot of things that can be found in this area over here. That's one of my little guys over there. Um, over the years I've come here, we have a, a spot for the family, but over the years we've come here and caught turtles, frogs, fish, and everything. It's a great place. So let's get into it. <laughs> there he is, he's trying to catch some fish right now. And when we come out and we do our collecting, we're looking for places more like this. And there's a lot of plant growth, lily pads, um, there looks to be like some type of ceratophyllum that's in there, the hornwort. And over here you can see that that's all in the water. That's all great places to find these types of fish. Over large chunks of this lake, they have this concrete seawall that goes around. Now, when you create a shoreline like that, it doesn't necessarily allow for it to be as natural. So, while I do find some of the different fungilids over here, it's a much lower frequency. Alright, and here, this is the main reason why I came. It's a group of fungilus dispar, the starhead top minnow. Beautiful fish. All right, first catch of the day. And what trip would be complete without me catching a turtle? So here we have Chrysomys picta marginata, the Midland painted turtle. And we will be releasing this little baby. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. So here's what we caught today. Swimming around in the front, you can see a male and female. There's a couple males in here, but that's the fungalus dispar, the starhead top minnow. And then I also have caught some, let just get it into focus, right there, that's fungalus notatus, which is the black striped top minnow. I'm going to take these guys out and put them in a specimen container so we can get a closer, bit, uh, closer look. Alright, and this is the fungalus notatus. These guys are found pretty much all over the place in the Midwest. Um, we actually have them right by my house back in Illinois. So I just wanted to take a quick look at them. You can see um, the main thing, uh, the anal and the dorsal fin set way far back on the body, that lateral stripe. It's a really cool little fish. At some point in time later this summer I may catch some juveniles. Um, juveniles are more um, they're better suited for uh, transition to the aquarium. The adults, these guys have actually overwintered here. So what we're going to do is we're going to release these guys right now. I can stand up without too much difficulty. Alright. Thanks for letting me check you out, guys. Awesome, awesome. Alright. And this is Fungulus Dispar. The main thing that I was hoping to catch on this trip out, the first time I caught them, I thought they looked very much like some type of wild pacillid, but I knew that we didn't have those actually this far north. Um, after a little bit of research, I found out that it was Fungulus diaspar, the starhead top minnow. We have these kind of all over the place um, in the Midwest, just like the notatus, and these were actually caught in the same spot, living all together. So. Your initial assessment of the group when you look at it you could see looking down these guys have these little spots the notatus actually did not have any spots and um, the one thing that I noticed about the the dice bar here in Michigan as, a, as opposed to the ones we have back home in Illinois is these guys have an extra spot located near that dorsal fin so a very cool little fish an egg layer um, I probably will want to collect some uh, some juveniles, but that won't be until a later point. I actually don't have any tanks open right now. You can see the male right there with the vertical striping and the nice prominent uh, dorsal and anal fin. It's a nice yellow. The females have that lateral striping and look 
very similar to some type of uh, wild type molly or something. But Bacillidae, Gidiidae, Fungilidae, they're all classified in um, the same group, uh, Cyprinodontiform. But anyway, I just wanted to share these guys with you. Um, they're one of my favorite fish to collect. And man, that male is really cool. Wish he didn't have that split, but anyway. Um, Fungulus dispar, that earlier fish was Fungulus notatus. These are the North American Killies fungulids. Excellent, excellent. Alright, if you guys like what I'm doing, hit like and subscribe. I'm gonna release these guys back into the lake. See you later, guys. Thanks for being cool. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. There's swans on this lake. <laughs>